Hello out there. Thank you so much for watching, for joining the channel, and for being a part of this video. Thank you. And this video is really a motivational video, and its title of it is Creating a New Self. In the Holy Bible, it basically tells us to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, to replace the old and to put on the new. That takes works, folks. If we want change, we have to be willing to work to change our thoughts, our perception, and our words to create the realities that we want. And by the way, I do know what it is to be poor. I know what it is to be without. I do know what having the scarcity conversation can you do. And I do know what it is to go hungry for years of my life. But today, I'm going to give you answers of how to change all that. To have the life that you love and one that you're proud of. Stop making yourself poor. Stop. Now. Stop saying you don't have. That you don't get enough. That you earn little because if you live declaring poverty, poverty is what you're going to get. Because what we focus on expands and grows and gets larger. If we focus in on being poor, guess what, folks? We are poor and it's going to get worse. When I was going through my second divorce, my life coach said to me, she said, can it get any worse? And I thought to myself, there's no way it can get any worse. But I realized something from, from that question. Yes, it did get worse. Also break this habit of playing the victim. Remember, being a victim is a choice. When I was going through my divorce, I went up to my life coach and I started bad mouthing my ex-wife to be she did this, she did that, blah, 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 blah. And she looked at me and said, okay, I got what she contributed. Now, what do you contribute? And when we take responsibility for what shows up in our lives, we can change. You nev you're never going to get better like this by complaining, by being the victim. You will never get better. It's just a pity party. You need to get out of your pity party because people just don't care. You really want to know people really don't care. The first thing you need to do to change all this is your self-concept. How you're looking at yourself. Because you're not poor. You're just broke. I am a trader, I am an investor, and being a trader, I lost a lot of money one time before I started taking this coaching program, and I stopped trading because I was beginning to think of myself as a loser. I'm a loser. I lost so much money. And then as I was being in the coaching program, I realized that's the meaning I gave it from being poor. And then I realized I'm really not a loser. I just lost in a trade. And I was able to get back in the game and reap more than what I ever lost. So really, it's a self-concept that we have. And that can be a block that can hold us back or that can be our way of get moving forward. So we choose. The money will come. You will get it. You will get it. You will get it. I got my money back from all the money I lost and I even made more from it and I'm still making more from it. But had I kept having that conversation, I'm saying I'm a loser, I'm a loser, I would have kept losing in life because I would have lost opportunities. But before you can get to that stage, you have to first 
have a new state of mind. You have to believe in yourself. And if you believe in yourself, you'll take the necessary action. Remember that your financial status is only a reflection of your mental state. You change your mental state and what you're focusing on, your surroundings change, where you live, what you drive, who you associate with, all changes. If you're hanging around with drunks in the bar, guess what? Yeah, you. You're going to be a drunk. You're hanging around druggies? Well, people, you tell me who your friends are, I'll tell you who you are. So if, you, if in your mind you see money, if in your mind you see wealth, in your mind, you will see opportunities. We live in the greatest nation in the world, folks. People come from all over the world any way they can to get into the USA because of the opportunities that is available. So if you don't have a job, can't find a job, create a business. That's what I did. I could not find a job that would pay me what I needed. I could have been a victim. But I created a job business. Still got it to this day. And that's why I'm telling you. That's why I'm encouraging. Because I know this works. I had changed my mental state. Who I was. Because the way I was raised, I was raised to envy those who had instead of becoming like them. Your words will be directed, your direction. And if you want to be poor, keep playing the pity game. Pity me, pity me, pet, 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 pet. Nobody's going to pity you because people have their own problems. The second thing to improve is your evaluation. Don't settle for small things. Go for the big. But maybe initially, if you have no job, maybe get a job at McDonald's. A low-paying job. Because I'll tell you what, folks. It's a lot easier to get a job when you have a job. It's a lot easier to find a new girlfriend when you have a girlfriend. It's a lot easier to buy a car when you have a car or to get an apartment when you have an apartment or buy a house when you have a house. Don't settle for small things. See the big picture of what you want. Take a leap of faith. And just go after your dreams, folks. Learn to manage when you have. Do not spend for spending defines your priorities well. And it shows you what your values are. That's what money does. The third thing is to improve your language to your words. Ch change your words. Change your life. Change your habits. Change your life. There are people who talk all days about illnesses or that they don't get enough. And guess what shows up in their life? Exactly that. You ask them how they're doing and they'll answer reluctantly. Here, sort of, having a good time maybe. Here, with nothing, on the edge of indigence. Others say you don't earn, but you enjoy. If you relax, realize there are expressions that become seeds of more needs. You got it? So your words create, folks. Your words create. Change your words, move to the wealth line, okay? Change your words, move to the wealth line. Fill your pocket. Collect what's due. You're owed it. Go get it, okay? Because you are worthy, and that's one thing I'm preaching right now in my motivation. You have to be worthy to receive. If I had $100 in my hand and I say, here, Johnny, go lucky. Here's $100 for you. You're starving. You're hungry. You're without. You don't have nothing. And because of pride, you will not accept it. 
If you're not a good receiver, you will always, always, always be poor. Always. Because people will want to give to you, and it's like you push it away. You push it away. So you're being a victim? No. You're playing a victim. Pity party. Pride. The green-eyed monster. Let that go and go after your dream now. If you like it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and please have a good day. And remember, good habits, good life. Have a good day.